You probably already know that the BMW M division creates high performance versions of the company's existing products. But did you know that there were also two M exclusive vehicles in the company's history? The first was the M1 supercar of the 1970s, and the second is this, the XM concept. Built to preview a vehicle that will arrive in production form next year, the XM is the company's second M exclusive vehicle. And as you can see, it takes the form of a very interestingly shaped SUV. I wanna show you more about the XM, but before we get into that, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at Motor One Com. In addition to being the company's second M only offering, the XM is also the first electrified M product. This is actually a plug-in hybrid using a twin turbocharged V8 and electric motors and a battery of unknown specifications. BMW does say that this vehicle should have about 750 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque, making it one of the most, if not the most powerful M product in the company's history. A little bit surprisingly, the first M-specific product in decades isn't a supercar or a high-performance sedan or station wagon. Instead, it's a sports activity vehicle. That's definitely an unusual choice, but it's clear that BMW is listening to consumer tastes. Nowadays, people don't necessarily want low-slung exotics. They want comfortable and practical vehicles that they can bring the whole family with and still have a really great time on a back road. With the amount of power that this thing has, having a good time is all but given. At the same time, they've also imbued the XM with a lot of BMW heritage, such as these interesting double bubble roof elements that call to mind the M1 supercar of the 1970s. Additionally, laser etched BMW logos inside the glass, again, kind of remind us a little bit of that original supercar. Inside the BMW XM is pure modern BMW. You can see this twin screen layout borrowed from the iX SUV. Otherwise though, it's actually kind of familiar there's a lot of carbon, including this beautiful bronze finished carbon design. These seats are very performance oriented. There's a very traditional blocky center console in the middle, giving you an enclosed sports car like feel. It's really pretty impressive. As nice as the front row is though, you really need to see these back seats. For such a sporty, emotive, expressive kind of car, they've really given limo-like space in the rear to make sure everyone on board is happy. Now, modern BMW is no stranger to controversy, so I'm not too surprised that they've actually dialed things back a little bit if you really think about it. These are actually daytime running lights with the real driving lights behind this piece of tinted glass. That's a really interesting way of making sure it looks like a BMW while still bringing in some new modern design features. And then the kidney grille itself, it's definitely large and imposing, but the shape and the dimension of it actually reminds me a little bit of something like a 1995 BMW 740i with that wide grille. It really just, it looks proportional and it suits this vehicle very well. Borrowed from the M3, M4 is this interesting little chamfer in the center of the hood that hides the BMW logo. I think it looks great. It gives it some purpose without resorting to kind of a cliche power dome. Overall, it's just a very interesting vehicle. However, I am gonna to cop to a few complaints. The first one being these geometric wheel arches. I do kind of wish it was just a more traditional rounded wheel arch. This looks unnecessarily rugged for something that honestly will probably never see a dirt road. And then I don't care how the marketing people spin it. This is not a Hoffmeister kink. I'm gonna try really hard to let that one go because I am such a diehard BMW fanboy that anything that doesn't have a really nice little kink right here bugs me. But they say that this is the future of the Hoffmeister kink. I'm just gonna have to get used to it. The final concern I have is right here, this two-tone roof competing with the body line and then this interesting massive taillight element kind of reminds me a little bit of the Volkswagen ID4. Nevertheless, I think it's a really interesting and attractive vehicle. They've definitely kept some classic BMW design cues, but they brought it to the 21st century and made sure that this thing feels fresh and modern. As I mentioned, the BMW XM will arrive as a production vehicle by the end of next year as a 2023 model. It is a plug-in hybrid, so you can expect probably about 30 miles of all-electric range before the gas engine kicks in. It should cost probably somewhere in the neighborhood of $120,000 to $150,000, which is definitely a lot of money for a BMW sports activity vehicle, but at the same time, with all that power and torque on offer, this thing could definitely rival the Lamborghini Urus for super SUV supremacy. Thanks so much for watching.